Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new on the channel, my name is Kitty Mitsu A and welcome and I hope you're gonna subscribe after this video. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning back in. So today I'll be doing a video, a different video. I will be showing you how to maintain good days braids and show you a few ways to style the braids this is my first time doing these braids and i would i would like to say that it's high maintenance especially the curls i've had the braids now for around about five days five or six days and i'm not happy i'm not happy with the curl pattern i think curls just gen, um, generally like um, cur um tangle so that's the case with these so i'm just gonna I don't know if you can see how tangled they are now. Look, can you see? They tangled. So now I have to sort that out. And my nails are gripping as well. But anyway, so I'm just going to show you how to um, refresh them and get the curl pattern back. So there's two options. I'm not sure how long um, a mousse lasts because I noticed that I can actually use um, this mousse to define the curls back. But I think that is one of the um, options you can use if you're rushing for work and you don't have time to actually um, boil the hair. So I'll try and show you how one looks when I use a, a mousse. And yeah. So guys, I just want to tell you a few tips on or what to expect when you have these braids. I would like to say that, I don't know if it's the fact that I, I the type of um, fiber I used, I don't even know which fiber I used, um, It's like a high, it makes the braid seem like it's high maintenance. But I think curls in general are high maintenance. Um, so I would suggest that if you know that you won't have time to, to to curl your hair and stuff like that please don't even bother doing it but the nice thing about these braids is that you can cut off these bits when you tie it off the hairstyle and then just have normal um, box braids so yeah that's one thing and what else can I say just refresh your braids um, every week um, with the mousse and just for this part you can like mousse your hair down so you don't have to wash the the, your braids every week and what else just have okay purchase flexi rods so that you can do the curling or you can just plait your hair normally and I think it will work the same and then dip it in hot water um that's basically it but yeah that's the reason why these braids are high maintenance so yeah but they're cute they're cute they're cute cute um but hairline so the lady who did my hair, her name is Sandra, 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 if I'm criticizing it, but her name is Sandra, um, her handle is these are my, these are my hands, I think, um, I'll link the, her handle on the screen, um, I like her service, she's very fast, she's very friendly, um, she also does house calls, it will obviously depend on which area you're at. Um, but her braids are 350 and then if she buys the hair piece, it's 150 and then house call. So she's kind of reasonable to be honest. This is the second time using her. The first time I just did normal box braids and my hair was extremely short. My hair is short in jay even now because I've got a bob. Um, but she can plait any length. So yeah, if you would like to use the services, please do. Um, just let her know that I recommended, I recommended her to you. But yeah, um, that's that. So let's get right into the video. <laughs> so 
So let me just show you um, how the mousse works um, in comparison to the boiling. So this is how the curl looks now before applying the mousse. So I'm just gonna put some of that and then take the curl. I think you should do it this way. Um, and then I think there's a difference guys. I don't know, you tell me. There's a difference. So if you like in a rush, I think this is the option that you would take. But if you or not you can use the bendy rollers so what you do is you first okay let me just take um let's take these for instance okay so i'll roll that okay i think this way tightly as tight as you can like that And then I think you can bend it like that just to hold the curl. So this is going to be how you roll it. Just make sure that it's tightly rolled. Uh, but I saw the lady who did my hair. She took like a few. So I think I should just also take a few of these um, these parts and then just do one bend roll instead of like doing like a single um, braid. And then what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna then this is a bucket of boiling water and then I'm just gonna oh wow I just wanna show you how I just wanna show you how the ends look so the ends are normal right straight but I feel like I want to um curl them now so I'm gonna try and attempt um I'm gonna attempt to curl the bottom as well and I think I'm gonna use the thicker bend rollers so these are the two sides that I have. I've got this thin one and this thick one. So I'm going to use this for the ends. I'm going to use this for the, the curly um, bits of the braids. So now I'm trying to select all these curls. And then drop that, take that, drop These bend rollers are so old, guys. Yo, oh, sorry. They are so old. So I do take and then we just lock it now. I lock it and then I will curl, curl. that the curls will be more defined I don't know I'm gonna keep that like that for we should do this so this is how it looks so I'm gonna do the rest of camera so that I don't bore you and then I'll come back and then we're gonna um, dip the um, dip the rods inside the the water let me just do the bottom part first as well so i'm gonna take that and go like them to start here so i'll take and then i'll also curl curl and curl and lock So this is going to be the bottom part. So yeah, I'll just do it off camera as I said and then I'll come back. So I decided to do one side 
because if I do both sides at the same time, I won't have enough rods. So I did four this side, and I'm gonna do the side afterwards. I've got my bucket of boiling water and my towel, my lab. Now I'm just gonna dip this in here. I can dip two at a time. And keep it for just a few seconds. Guys, I already suggest that you do this. Um, if you're not in a rush, or you can blow dry your hair if you're in a rush. If you want to air dry the hair. If you can get someone to help you boiling as well as you burn yourself, please do. I think it's easier if someone is doing it for you. Because now I'm not even sure if the water is reaching, reaching the top part. So now I'm done with boiling one side and you know drying it a little bit with the towel because obviously it's drenching the water. Crossing thing is okay. Just gonna let me start with this one. These rods are old. Okay. See now, that is the curl pattern for the the piece, the small pieces. And then I don't trust the bottom part. I don't trust it. Ugh, it's not that bad. That's the curl pattern. I think if you do like. Um, fewer braids at a time for each rod you get the results that you want I'm not that fussy at this point just gonna remove everything and then I'll I think I won't show you the other side I'll just show you when I'm done and then we're gonna start the styling part of the video I'm done with this side so this is how it looks So I'm done with the curling and if you want to be a little bit extra, you can put some of the mousse and then just run it down the hair and here by your parting. 
and then you can do your hairline. Uh, guys, these things are gripping on my nails. Okay. So now I'm going to do my hairline quickly. Um, so I'm going to buy this flex gel.
thank you guys for watching uh, please don't forget to comment down below which hairstyle you like the most and yeah see you on the next video bye